Hey everybody, it's Nicole coming at you with the intro to my beauty channel, 334 Bama Girl Beauty. That's a lot to say, but anyway, I decided to start this channel um, because I am a makeup hoarder. I have tons of makeup and right now I'm ready to start really diving into my makeup investments <laughs> and bring you guys some looks and um, review some, you know, items and do my wig reviews again like I used to because I actually started out doing wig reviews and things like that and then it kind of evolved into doing DIYs or whatever on my main channel which is 334 Bama Girl so I decided to separate some stuff because some people come for like the wig reviews and the makeup and then some people come for the DIYs and things like that so this is the intro to the beauty channel so what I'm gonna do today is just give you a quick little tour and um, show you my makeup collection. Some of this stuff um, I'm gonna purge because I've had it for a minute and I know that I'm not gonna use some of those items so I'm gonna donate a lot of it to a local shelter here um, and some stuff to my daughters. I've got three daughters so honey, they're makeup lovers too. Um, but yeah, the rest of it, I'm going to dive into and do my project product again or my project pan where I'm going to try to hit pan on as many products as I can. Um, but yeah, I just want to enjoy my investment when it comes to the makeup that I've purchased over the last several years. Um, a lot of it is brand new, hadn't been opened, still in the packages and stuff like that. So it's going to be fun to shop my stash and you guys get to come along with me and just enjoy the process. Um, I'm hoping you like this video. It's going to be a long one. So Stop right now, go get yourself a glass of wine, a little snack, you know, a little uh, wine, cheese, fruit tray, whatever, and just sit back and chill out and enjoy it. Um, and I actually didn't show you everything when it comes to makeup. I actually forgot I have makeup in this little container, or container, in this chest of drawers right here that I forgot to show you, but we'll get to that. But I've showed you everything else in here when it comes to my makeup. So hopefully you like it and go on over if you haven't already and subscribe to the home channel where I'll be doing um, DIYs and updating things here in the house. But this is mainly beauty over here. So yeah. Anyway, until we meet again, sit back and enjoy the video. Bye guys. Hey guys, okay, so let me get started with this makeup collection video. So, uh, the first place we're going to start is right here at this mirrored, um, I guess, accent table, nightstand, whatever. I picked this up uh, from Tuesday morning a little while ago. But anyway, it houses makeup. So, you can see me in my socks and yoga pants. I'm in the reflection, but ignore the honey. Okay, so first drawer. This drawer houses um, various different things. It has like um, my flawless um, brow box with all the info. Um, just various tools like this brow kit. Um, a little facial massager. Um, just little tools and things like that in here. Um, it has... Just little extras and knickknacks and things like that. Move that back. Um, I've got some e.l.f. primer in here. Glitter primer that I picked up from Dollar Tree. Um, oh gosh. Just miscellaneous stuff. Eyeliners and things like that. It's more of a catch-all drawer. Um, I've got some Milani products and stuff like that. So that's what's in this first one. Second drawer has... Um, some of my perfusion collection, um, in here, um, I have this contour, whoops, contour, um, set that I got from Dollar General, and you know, I probably picked this up on clearance, because I'm not paying $10 for <laughs> Um, I have the Festival palette, um, by perfusion that I got from Walmart, um, and then there's some extra products in here like beauty blenders, the blinged out beauty blenders. I picked this up from, I want to say Ulta or Sephora. 
I want, it may have been Sephora about two or three years ago when I was going through a phase, honey. I was um, dealing with going through a divorce and things like that. So I bought up a lot of stuff trying to deal with things. Um, more little beauty blenders that I picked up on clearance because I'm telling y'all, I don't buy anything at regular retail. Okay, so <laughs> anyway, um, one of those silicone blenders, I bought it to try it and I never used it. So I'm probably going to list this on Poshmark. So I'm going to list my Poshmark link down below if you want to, you know, pick up some stuff or interested in some of the stuff that I may show. Um, head on over there or just check out other things that I have that are not makeup related if you want to. Okay, so... Um, you know, com little um, compact, um, what are these called? Powder puffs. Um, another um, perfusion product. It's just a lip kit. Um, what else is in here, honey? Some stuff I've forgotten I've had. These are eyebrow, not eyebrow, but eyeshadow shields. You put this under your eye when you're doing your eyeshadow, so you want get that, you know, the little fallout up underneath and stuff like that. Um, like I said, just miscellaneous stuff in this drawer and the last drawer well if I can get this back in here there we go <laughs> the last drawer is perfusion so this is a collection of all my perfusion products that I've collected over the course of time just lots of different palettes and things like that um, in here and if y'all want to see my perfusion collection um ooh, lord let me know down below and we can go through it and i'll show you what i have um but you know because perfusion for the price it is a great product it has great color payoff pigmentation it just has a little bit of fallout but i still like the product okay so over here this stand or chest of drawers um i got from hobby lobby a while ago i wanted something like the alex drawer but i did not want white so i got these from hobby Lobby. well this particular one from hobby lobby on top i have a collection of fragrances from um victoria's secret and bath and body works and just various things i've been robbed because i actually had some of the Estee Lauder, I want to say collaboration with Kylie Jenner or one of those Jenner girls. I don't know which one, but anyway, <laughs> I had those up here, but they've disappeared. So I don't know what's going on, but just different fragrances, Lady Gaga, um, Nicki Minaj, um, just stuff. I think I had some Justin Bieber up here too somewhere, but anyway, stuff just disappeared y'all. And then I've got my little acetone for my nails and stuff. Okay. It's a little dusty up here. So ignore that. Like I said, you're getting the real deal here. Okay. In the first drawer, this stuff is basically hair accessories and just little extra knickknacky things. I have some um, hair clips and things like that. I put this chest of drawer here next to my vanity so I'll have easy access. If I'm doing hair or makeup, I could just reach over here and grab stuff. So anyway, just, you know, decorative bobby pins and things like that. These are like in now. So I need to be probably using these because, honey, I've had these for years. When I tell you when I first got on YouTube, I think <laughs> I picked these up. So anyway, there's some combs. Um hair bands and stuff like that so yep that's what's in that drawer this drawer again extra hair things comb sets um my spray on hair color this is great for like half wigs and covering up gray and stuff like that anyway we'll get into that i have bond remover um i have some of the lace wig tape in here you know back when you in the early days of wig reviews and youtube when you bought synthetic wigs you got this lace you know little pieces of um adhesive tape so oops all right camera there we go let me okay third drawer this one has mostly eye products eyeliners um like uh cream eyeshadows and things like that of course it has q-tips and cotton pads and things like that but yeah just 
mostly eye stuff. Oop, I have a Carmex in here. I need that. I love Carmex. I'm addicted to it. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know, extras because, like I said, a lot of stuff I have, I haven't even opened it up. So, yeah, these are just eyeliners and eye products in this drawer. Okay, drawer number four. This one has face products pretty much. Um, it has contour palettes, um, primers in here, a MAC palette. I'm not even sure which one this is. I think this is where I depotted something and put it in this palette, I want to say. So I think I won this palette in a contest years ago, and I depotted the NYX pencils. Yep. Is that what that is? I think so, girl. I'm telling you, look. I don't forget. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I put them in here, and then I kind of wrote the names. You can't see them with Sharpies on here but anyway that's what those are okie dokie <laughs> and then just extra little products that i've collected that i need to purge some stuff like i said i'm gonna start listing this stuff some more stuff because i actually have some stuff on poshmark if there's some stuff you see that i mentioned i'm gonna put on poshmark then go over and check it out like i said i'll have the link down below because that's what I'm going to do since we're all under quarantine. Is just um, go through my makeup stash and purge and list certain things and get rid of stuff. Okay, this is the fifth drawer. And this is blush, pretty much. Um, lots of blushes. These are Milani brushes. Some Maybelline. Cover Girl. Maybelline. Yeah, Maybelline. I think there's some cover girls, some Nicks in here. Um, just random ones. Mary Kay. Wet and Wild. Just stuff. But it's all pretty much blush products in this particular drawer. And that was number five. Oops. Okay. Number six. This is, I gotta get down on my knees now. Okay. <laughs> this drawer is, um, more face products. This is pretty much like foundations and concealers and stuff like that. So, you know, the LA Girl Pro Conceal. Um, I've got the Kat Von D um, foundation. Some of the Maybelline Ruby Kisses setting powder. The Kat Von D foundation. Um, this was one of those. Um, products that you mix with your foundation to change the color if you want it light or dark. I got this, I think, from Octoly, if I'm not mistaken. They work pretty good, but since I found one that I really like, I, I don't use that as much. Again, Maybelline Foundation, L'Oreal Foundation in this drawer. I have a little random brush in here. So, yep, yeah, that's what's in this drawer. Okay, that was sixth drawer, yeah, seventh drawer. All my Wet n Wild palettes. A lot of these are limited edition ones, so unless you're like on eBay or Amazon, you really can't find these. Especially like the Vanity palette. Where is it? I stocked up on the Vanity palette, honey. When they went on clearance, this was the best one they ever made. Love this palette. Love, 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 love this palette. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, just mostly limited edition ones. And then there are some... Um, I think there's some, uh, I want to say, yeah, Black Radiance palettes in here too, because basically they're made by the same folks, so they're in here as well. So, if y'all want to see my whole full Wet n Wild collection, let me know. I'll show you. Again, more Wet n Wild in the eighth drawer, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, eighth drawer lose track just a collection of wet and wild stuff this is like their zodiac collection some of the stuff i haven't even opened um some of this temporary hair color stuff just to have fun with um i think that came from dollar tree and then in here i'm not even sure what's in this makeup piece oh yeah i ordered these offline they came out with the i think it was the mega glow when they first came out and i ordered all the products because they had some pigments and stuff yeah, so that's what's in here. Never use these. 
but I'm looking forward to using this stuff now that I've gotten this channel going and look forward to that and a few eyeliners and single shadows so yep setting powder I mean setting spray so yep Ugh, ninth drawer is kind of heavy oh okay <laughs> these are makeup brush um holders and some makeup brushes in here um you know where you go on um at one point you could go to coastal scents and bitch cosmetics and order these but then amazon came along and kind of took away the hype <laughs> Well, you can go in there and buy makeup brushes for next to nothing and still can. So, that's what's in these. Uh, or, that's what came in these. Some of them are empty and some of them have brushes. So, I don't need any brushes. And you're going to see that here in a little while. But, I have tons of makeup brushes, y'all. That I've gotten on clearance and as gifts and free gifts and stuff. Ugh, that's the only thing I hate when it's heavy. These drawers get like this. But, anyway... There we go. And then the last drawer is Coastal Scents. These are all my Coastal Scents palettes, pretty much. And y'all remember these, the 88 palettes that everybody was getting because they came in these little black cases and you look like a pro. <laughs> when you use them, there's a lip palette, um, blush palette. So yeah, these are all my Coastal Scents palettes that I hardly use. Okay, so then we're going to move over here to my vanity table, which looks like crap right about now because I've been uh, doing some stuff and uh, using things. Like I said, I use my space, so it is not going to be immaculate, honey. So up here, I have a Mariah Carey palette from her collect. Oops, you can't see it. From MAC a couple years back. I've been using that. My Stay Matte blotting powder from Clinique. I am in love with with the Clinique foundation. This is my absolute favorite. It's Beyond Perfecting um, concealer and foundation in one. Love it. And then I have my Patrick Star bronzing powder and the airspun powder there. And then inside this little baby is some more setting powder. Um, and I forget which one I put in there, but has a big pu a puff and some powder. Then there's my uh, MAC Prep and Prime and just various stuff. This is the palette I used for my last video. My e.l.f. primer, some earrings, some more foundation. This is from, who was it? I got this from Beauty Supply. Oh, it's a Kiss Foundation. It works pretty good for $7.99. So, yep. And then here is Mariah Carey's, um, no, this wasn't from Mar Mariah Carey's line. This was just a MAC highlighter that came out at Christmas time a couple years ago that I just discovered in my stash and I've been using it. See how pretty that is, y'all? And I've been sleeping on it in my drawer for about two years. That's sad. Look at that. So pretty. Okie dokie. Anyway, that's what I've been using. So, let me sit here and show you. Now, these drawers are junky. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. But anyway, in here, I have my go-tos usually. I have powder in here, setting powder. Um, more Wet n' Wild palettes. I use these a lot. Especially for the transition color. I love that. Well, you can't see it. Um, this color right here as a transition. Actually, all of these. I use I have some LA Cut Girl on I me mean LA color setting powder some more Maybelline um, foundation and then I have all three of the setting powders the light medium dark you know all three colors basically and my Carmex that I do my lips with concealer from Makeup Revolution petroleum jelly my two go-to eyeliners are in here Cats Meow from MAC and CoverGirl Ink It, I think it's called. Just stuff that I use. My favorite mascara, which is the oh, upside down Bad Girl Bang from Benefit. Love that. That's that drawer. And then over here, it's hair stuff. So when I'm doing 
my units. I have all my tools and stuff here. I mean, uh, wig caps and things like that are in this drawer. Okay, so we're going to move over here, y'all. This is another um, chest or, I guess, nightstand, you want to call it. It actually matches the big one. It's just a smaller version, and I have makeup in there as well. But let me show you what's up top. My makeup brush towers are right here. I love these things. I wish I had ordered some more of these. I think I will. Um, but they hold my makeup brushes. I got to organize this a little bit better. But anyway, they have my makeup brushes in them. Um, and then I just have various stuff up here. This is my daughter's. I need to give that to her. But just product, like new product, eyelashes, um, new um, Ruby Kisses liners here, my hairsprays and hair products, um, all my makeup brushes are back there. Um, so yeah, this is stuff that I grab when I'm like doing my makeup or videos or whatever. That's what's up top, easy to get to, and yep. So, let's get into the first drawer here. This, again, more go-to products, my Master Chrome highlighter from Maybelline. Use that a lot. I just use this um, e.l.f. Um, loose eyeshadow. I don't know if I, they still make these or not. But anyway, I like those. I got a few colors in that. These are like random um, eyeshadow palettes. These were, were they the Eva Longoria ones? Um, I got this from CVS a while ago. I just thought they were kind of cool. I can't even do it with one hand. But they're eyeshadow palettes that I got on clearance using my extra care books from CVS, but it opens up basically. And they have some really pretty shadows in there. As you can see, I have two of these. So. Yeah, is it even longer? Nuance or Selma Hayek. It's Selma Hayek. That's who made these. Okay, or collaborated, I guess. So yeah, I have a couple of those. Um, this is my go-to concealer right now. The Brightening Concealer by Benefit. Um, I use this a lot. Oh, I did until I started really using that Clinique foundation, but I still use it. Um, I have some lippies and stuff in here. Um, um, makeup removers, more lip glosses. These were a collaboration with Platinum D here on YouTube. She did this with, um, what was this? Is BU Beauty. And I bought a couple of her lip glosses to support they're in here um yeah so that's what's in there little cargo product now this drawer has all of my foundations and my Scandinavia products so Estee Lauder MAC Urban Decay um what else is in here Becca. Becca makes a real good foundation, y'all. I really like hers, but that's something that I have to really, I don't know, I can feel it on my skin, but I do like it. It's got good coverage or whatever, and it's just Scandinavia info. Um, but yeah, all my foundations, and I don't know why I keep them in the box. It's just me. But anyway, foundations and stuff. <laughs> And my favorite one, and MAC doesn't make this anymore, is the Mineralized Foundation. Remember when you swirl and tap? That's what this stuff is. <laughs> I bought those when they started clearancing them out. I got a couple because I really like it. Sometimes I use those to set my foundation. Okay, third drawer, e.l.f. products, all e.l.f. Um, lipsticks, eyeshadows, eyeliners, mascara. A lot of this stuff I have not opened, and it's sad. But we're going to do an e.l.f week i guess or an elf um video whatever but if y'all want to see the collection of elf let me know um elves come a long way and they make a pretty good product you know they're getting a little pricier or, you know they were the the good one you could get cheap they're still affordable but they're going up um next drawer drawer number four it's just some lip products um just you know if i'm doing a video i don't want to throw on a lip or something i can just grab some of these got a couple of the um color tattoos in here remember when they were popular um right before the indie makeup thing started taking over um <clears throat> people are trying to do um 
or go back to drugstore stuff now um because they're getting you know bored i guess with the indie stuff but yeah remember those days <laughs> So that's what's in there. Oh, and then I got this lipstick from Dollar Tree because it has my name. It's called Nicole. So had to get that. Probably won't use that, but I think it's cute. And it's a red lippy. All right. And this is drawer number five. And this just has backups, extra product, stuff like that. Like I have lots of mascaras in here. Um tons of mascara um these are eyeliners that i actually got um from fred's when they were closing up they were going in the garbage instead of being donated so these are like brand new liners and things like that in here um eyeshadows okay um, as i was saying i think a brush cleaner um, more mascara in here. Hopefully I'm not making y'all dizzy, but yeah, just extra stuff, backups, my hair gel. So, yep, that's what's in that drawer. And in this little basket right here, a lot of this stuff I'm going to list, like I said, on Poshmark. Um, these are the Profusion Color Spell products. This is a collection, um, of that of from profusion the color spell collection so brand new product in here ow that hurt foundations palettes really pretty palettes like i said i love profusion but a lot of this stuff i know i'm not gonna use so uh, some of it i'm gonna list um here's some uh glitter is it glitter or pigments it's yeah it's like glitter pigments or sparkle pigments whatever <laughs> just a lot of stuff y'all is sad but i am a collector and a hoarder when it comes to makeup so it is what it is then i also have some palettes these i just picked up i got these on clearance from dollar general i think i shared these in a haul um yeah either the haul's gonna come up before or after this video but anyway i got that recently in these brushes which were i want to say they were 75 percent. i can't remember that shows you but they were cheap i think these were like 250 that was 250 or something like that they're really cheap so yep and these are wigs that i need to review <laughs> okay so we come to the big daddy this chest of drawers contains a lot of the high-end stuff that I have um, up here there's not really any makeup this is just my meditation candles my purse charms over here yep um, just oh all of my makeup bags are in here so when I do my purse changes I'll come over here and try to find a makeup bag that'll go with the purse my meditation CD because up here there's my I have some brushes drying there's my CD player so I meditate in here there's my little um mister fragrance mister there so yeah anyway <laughs> that's what's in here pretty much oh another flawless finished little product just stuff um oh there are some makeup products in here I forgot about these these I'm probably I haven't used these I ordered these from shop miss a a while ago and when I moved whoops I put these in here there's some brand new lipsticks may list those on Poshmark or just donate those I'm not sure but anyway that's what's in that drawer second drawer this is Mac on one side except for this mac this is like that bullet collection they came out with a couple years back with all their popular lippies in here they're the smaller sizes of every color again that was popular hardly use those mariah carey's collection uh, um was in here um, Aaliyah, some of her stuff. Oh, I got all of her stuff, but it was kind of a disappointment. But anyway, it's still good. I use it. Um, I'm trying to remember who was this? The Trolls. I got a couple of Trolls products. 
when they got marked down. I got some Selena. I got some of the, um, gosh, what's that? Well, uh, Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> I didn't think about it. Caitlyn Jenner, um, I got all of hers. And I actually got dupes. I have some of these listed on Poshmark because somehow Mac sent me doubles when I ordered that because it was like a big, you know, one of those big launches and they were having trouble, I guess, with the website. But anyway, they ended up sending me dupes. So I listed um, them on Poshmark. Um, so go check that out if you're interested. And she had some really pretty colors. They're really universal, so any skin tone can wear her stuff. So go check that out if you're interested. Um, yeah, like here's some of her stuff now. This is Kindness. This was a lip gloss, I believe, a lip glass. Cream sheen lip glass. Cream, ugh, I can't. Cream sheen glass. So, yeah. And then, uh-oh. Yeah, there's, there's another one. Uh, Understanding, which was the lipstick, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, then I have some of Nicki Minaj's stuff over here, and again, Mariah Carey. I got the whole line, honey. I did not rest till I got Mariah Carey stuff, and they did the same thing here. They sent me some dupes, but I'm keeping those because I like them. <laughs> anyway, um, there's Aaliyah's stuff right here. This is Selena. This is, I want to say Star Trek, Star Wars, one of them. That's their collection. You probably can't see it because it's dark up in there. And then here's some various liners, um, universal liners. And then these were Aaliyah's and then some just, you know, different colored liners, blue, black, whatever. Um, more lipsticks, my lipstick, some of my MAC lipstick collection is back there. Okay, put this back. Then I have, um, more from that Christmas collection. I want to say that's a highlighter. I'm not sure, but anyway, MAC. Um, this is old, Wonder Woman collection. I love that highlighter in there. It's a blush highlighter duo. Um, these are MAC pigments that came out a couple Christmases ago that I picked up. Let's see if I can open this up without making a mess. But yeah, they're pigments. Really pretty ones. I have never used these. Gorgeous. And the same thing in the uh, other one right here, pigments. Um, then Juvia's Place is in here. I have some of her, but I want to get her whole collection too because she has good product and you get a lot of it. So, yeah. Love Juvia's Place. Again, this is another one of her palettes right here. It's the eyeshadow. I think this is the one where you make your own. I can't remember, but anyway, it's from her. So, yeah, that's my little Juvia's Collection right here. Then this is Kat Bun D. Um, some of the things that I got from her in here, all of her stuff, lippies and eyeliners and palettes there. And if y'all want, like I said, let me just make it universal. If you want to see any of the collections that you see today, let me know and I'll be glad to show you what I have. This was a sample, um, that I got. I think when I ordered from Ulta and they sent those to me, like a free gift or something. Okay, then in this little corner, I'm trying not to make y'all dizzy. This is Rihanna, all her stuff right here. Or Fenty, should I say. Collection is right here. Then this is like Lorac and Pure Cosmetics. A couple of Sephora palettes in here. Yeah, so that's what's back there. Those Pro palettes. Okie dokie. So, drawer number three. Oops. Okay. Let's get in drawer number three. All right. Drawer number three has, um, I think this is Tarte right here. Do, 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 do. Yep. All my Tarte palettes here. And then next to Tarte is Anastasia. All of the palettes that I liked from her. And a couple of liners. And then Too Faced is here. Some palettes from Too Faced. 
And then this full side right here is Urban Decay. I'm a huge Urban Decay fan. So I have a lot of palettes from them. Um, I love this one. This is like my favorite. The Heat palette. I love the lipsticks that came with that collection. Um, Smoky palette. I'm sure there's a Naked palette down there somewhere. There's my setting spray. I have the All Nighter and the Chill. Um, yeah, lippies and samples and stuff in this whole little basket over here. So that's Urban Decay. So now we move to drawer number four. These are random products, but they're on the higher end. Laura Geller got that from QVC. And one of those, HSN, I ordered that. Um, Clinique and Mary Kay. In this one, freebies, you know, they give you these free gifts when you buy stuff. But I love the conceal I mean the foundation concealer combo. So I probably got that when I bought those. Um Yeah, um Lancome, I think. Mascara, is it? Yeah. These are like the over the counter higher end stuff here. Um in that one. Then, oh, I'm not sure who that is. It might be a Tarte or something, Lippy something, I think. And then I have some, is this Stila? Who is this? No, Makeup Forever um, in here. Some Makeup Revolution. This is Stila. This is my little Stila collection <laughs> right there. Most of that came from TJ Maxx. Um, Smashbox. Um... Yeah, mostly Smashbox, some Bite Lippies foundation from Smashbox, Michael Jacobs. This was, or Mark Michael Jacobs, Lord. Mark Jacobs. <laughs> this was like a free gift for my birthday. I know that was too, the liners. Um, yeah, and then I think there's a ColourPop palette right there. We want to try more of their stuff. That's the only ColourPop product I have. Okay, then this is a Coastal Scents blush bronzer palette. Um, I need to put that over there with the rest of the Coastal Scents. Anyway, um, these are, like I said, various um, palettes and stuff. Um, there's some more Coastal Scents. That was the, the Passport ones back there they had a while ago that I haven't used. And these two right here, the gold palettes, which are great for your purse. And then little samples and stuff like that. More Coastal Scents liners here. They were on sale when I got those. I definitely remember buying those. Okay, these came from Victoria's Secret. They're lip kits. Um, really pretty lip kits too. Let me see if I can open it up. Hold well on. Here we go. <laughs> but yeah, they're really pretty lip kits. They came out sort of around the same time, I want to say, when that whichever gender it is. The Kylie lips or whatever. I don't know what it was. I mean, but anyway, that's when they came out. <laughs> um, this was like something I think I got that from Walmart. Um, from Drew Barrymore, her flower collection. Okay, then more makeup wipes extras and then these are my bh cosmetics palettes all of those in here blushes and concealer palettes the 120 palettes and all that stuff that is what that is all right in the last drawer now this one is kind of full but this one let me move this out of the way holds all my nail products and makeup brushes on this side is all my artificial nails and glues and acrylics and stuff here as you can see my collection of falsies by whoever revlon um nailene um kiss i love kiss stuff um la colors um yeah dollar trees <laughs> The little soak off things dollar tree carries yeah all that stuff nail collection over here and then i have some little extra nail blocks and stuff that i got on clearance y'all see the orange tag yeah and then this side is brushes nothing but 
brushes when i tell you nail brush not nail brushes makeup brushes that's what's over here there are some real techniques um eco tools um soho brushes Oh gosh, Coastal Scents, because they have a really nice branding blush, Sassy and Chic, you know, Dollar Tree's version, some Amazon brushes are in here. I just have tons of makeup brushes. These are the Profusion Color Spell brushes. They came out with a collection along with their makeup, so I have those. These are lip brushes I got from Shop Miss A. Um, so yeah, I don't need any makeup, nothing brushes nails nothing i could run a salon from my beauty room i'm telling you i have everything okay so uh oh now look at me i can't close up nothing now okay <laughs> all right now let's see i'll show you my nail polish collection which is hanging up on the wall i got these um Holders from Amazon, the acrylic holders, holds all my nail polish. Some of them have been there so long, they're starting to separate. So I know I got to purge. Um, but yeah, this is one I use mostly. I have it in a little basket so I can just tote it where I need to go. It has all the nail files and top coats and all that. And then I have some in there too. I'm working on organizing all this because like I said, I'm going to purge a lot of those and put some of those if they'll fit on the wall. And oh, before I go to the last, don't want to make you dizzy, but not least, um, dresser full of makeup. This is my lippy collection. This is on the craft side of the room, but before I reconfigured it, this was already hung up, so I didn't move it. But these are all my lippies. Now, these are ink pens. <laughs> But yeah, these are all my, well, not all my lipsticks, but some of my MAC, Bite, um, Black Radiance, Milani, Clean Color, Cover Girl, and Maybelline. So, and they're all pretty much color coordinated, I want to say. Um, so, yeah, y'all remember all the Wet n Wild mattes and then the um, NYC lips that were real popular a few years back. Again, some of these haven't even been open. They're just taking up space okay so I don't want to make you dizzy so move real slow take you back to this side of the craft room diva space um so yeah so we're gonna go over here that's where all my craft supplies and my purses are in that closet <sighs> so anyway here we are on this side forgive me but my little Christmas tree is still up because I like the way it looks it's all silver and sparkly but It'll be taken down in the next couple days. I hate to see it go. <laughs> but yeah, that's all my grandmother's, um, well, some of her stuff that she had on her dresser, a little Chanel bottle, her little golden gloves, the long ones, some compacts and little atomizers and stuff like that. So yeah, I like looking at that. Okay, more makeup. Oh, and this is my grandmother's too, y'all. I love that. But anyway, first drawer in this dresser. These are various glitters that I got from Spectrum Cosmetics a while ago that I have never used. Single shadows from Wet n Wild. Again, loose highlighters right here. I think these are highlighters. They're mineral mineral powder bronzers okay so that's what they are from clean color um what else my these are the extra caitlin jenner mac products that i said i have listed on poshmark so if you're interested in these go over to poshmark check them out um my extra clickers are in here for lighting my candles of course and my remotes for my cameras um NYX products are in here. Some just random palettes. Um, LA Girl Strobe. NYX New, or no, that's Maybelline News palettes. Just random makeup is in here, as you can see. I have a lot, y'all. This is pitiful, but it's mine and it is what it is. Okay. Next drawer over here 
is um mostly drugstore and beauty supply i think um got some sinful colors um just random stuff y'all some urban decay not urban decay lord black radiance palette over here these are just um like i said random ones um these are from nika k these are liquid eyeshadows these are really pretty and i got these from the beauty supply i tried one and i really liked it so i got all of them and i'm gonna be using these because i really like these um yeah and then these are like the potted um la color shadows that you know they carry in dollar tree i just put them in these pill organizers and wrote the names on them these are really really nice y'all so i have those in there yeah these are all doubled up more lippies back there i can probably eliminate that container cover girl products more lipsticks those are like l'oreal lippies and stuff um, three pan shadows from CoverGirl. These I'm probably, I have never used these. I'm probably gonna, um, I don't know. I may donate these or I may list them on Poshmark. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but yeah, um, hard candy palettes. These kind of disappointing they weren't what i was expecting they were a little disappointing that's all i can say <laughs> but yeah some um pretty jordana lipsticks right here but yeah i was really disappointed in those hard candy ones okay one of those you know make it your own ruby kisses palettes you know you got these at the beauty supply and you put your own you know pick your own colors you pop them in let's see if i can open it up uh, it's hard to do with one hand. Oh, there we go. Well, did I get it? Yeah. But I picked those because they were really pretty colors. So, yeah, you just pop the squares in there. You buy them individually. So, I got those. Great for uh, spring and summer. So, I'm, I actually used this um, recently. So, yeah. And then, of course, you had your names at the bottom. These are great. And you can still make these now. Um, they still have these at the be various beauty supplies. Okay. More palettes that I just picked up and never used really pretty ones looking forward to trying some some of them like i said i'm gonna list on poshmark um there's another perfusion palette let's see if i can move that 180 palette from perfusion Ooh, slide over this is huge and then i have some elf palettes and a nyx palette in there and yeah, that's a big palette from Perfusion. See all those colors? Really pretty. Okie dokie. So, yep. Lots of palettes. And this one I got to show y'all. If y'all been following me for a while, you may have seen this already. This is the first eyeshadow palette that I ever bought. Um, I got this, I want to say in 88. 88 yeah 87 88 somewhere in there um i got this from a beauty supply store and girl look at that <laughs> it has seen better days it had highlighters and blushes up here which have long gone and then you can see i was hitting pan back in the day i haven't used this in forever but i just kept it because it was the first one i bought and it came of course with the little um applicators and stuff but it had some really pretty colors but they were all um metallics and shimmers in here so yeah i love that palette back in the day and yeah look at it honey the same better days i'm not even sure who this is princess shammy girl i don't even know ain't nothing on the back of nothing but this was the first palette i ever bought <laughs> sentimental reasons for me holding on to it and yeah, so these are that that's a I want to say that's a elf palette right there. Yeah, it is. You can't see it. I, yeah, elf. So yeah, trust me, I know what I have. <laughs> um, I just need to start using it more. And this last drawer, actually, it's not the last drawer. I take that back. 
Okay, is sorry about that camera cut off. LA colors in this drawer. So we have highlighting um, palettes, bronzing palettes, um, lots of just little products from LA colors in here from like Dollar Tree drugstores and things like that. Brand new, never been used. If you want to see what I got, like I said, y'all let me know. Whatever collection, let me know down below. These are just collectibles I got. Um, this is the Barbie brush collection. And then I have Wonder Woman uh, palette here. There's a Wonder Woman palette. And then those are Wonder Woman lippies back there. So, yep. I like to collect. That's sad. But I do what I do. <laughs> But yeah, that's, oh gosh, that last drawer. So this just takes up half of this dresser. The rest of that is like jewelry and earrings and things like that. But yeah, that's that side. And the last of the last, we're going to go past my little sofa. Try not to make y'all dizzy. I have another one of those chests from um, Hobby Lobby. Have my skull. Y'all know I'm going to have a skull somewhere. Y'all know I like my skulls. But anyway. In this one, we have hand sanitizers. And Lord knows I'm glad I got them now with everything that's happening. But these are the hand sanitizers from Bath & Body Works. Now, they only have like 10% alcohol. So, they're not going to do a whole lot. But I have it. <laughs> and my holders and stuff right there. And then my little scent pods for the car. You know, the little things like this um keep the car smelling good so that's what's in there and these are like you know holders for the hand sanitizer next drawer more makeup bags i'm telling you i have a lot of stuff y'all this is pitiful but it's mine and i love my stuff but again i'm gonna purge and list stuff on poshmark i may do these in like lots because you know i'm not gonna just list one measly little makeup bag so anyway moving on um just little extras travel containers um i love these because i like to put these in my purse which are the fingernail files that have the case you get these from dollar tree that's what's in here i have some compacts that i picked up from michael's when they had the dollar spot now it's a dollar fifty but i grabbed those because i got different um you know colors like the pearl and then this pretty sort of gold color there we go and then i have a black one right there if you can see it and then i have a blingy one right there <laughs> And then I have another one. It's actually in my purse. Um, and then these are just stuff that pretty much I can throw in my purse. Hand lotion, stuff like that. My Jergens. This is the stuff when I change my purse, I put it in there. It's a first aid kit. These are like little portable fragrances that are in here. So this is just purse items. In here. Uh, well, oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get through this so it won't be super long. Well, oh, something's not going. I don't know what it is. Well, I might have to. Ooh, okay. We're going to make this easy. <laughs> it's probably one of these eyelashes. This is my eyelash drawer with all my eyelashes, my individuals, um, some elf lashes, some adhesives, um, some of the little fantasy maker ones from Wet n Wild. I have some that I picked up. Some Ardell's from TJ Maxx. There. Um, just various ones. More Ardell's. Just a drawer full of lashes. And lash stuff, y'all. And I'm not a lash person. That's another reason why they're full. I wear them occasionally because I'm not about taking my own out. I like mine. <laughs> So, yeah, that's like special occasions or something. So, yeah, that's what's in that door. And the last one is just random stuff. This is stuff when I sell stuff on Poshmark. I'll usually include a little extra something. So, that's what's in here. It's just like lip glosses, little um, shower caps, um, 
little palettes, random palettes and stuff like that. I just include that as an extra, oops, a gift with my Poshmark stuff. So yeah, that's gonna do it y'all. I guess we can use this as an ending sort of video <laughs> or scene. But yeah, um, hopefully you enjoyed my little makeup collection video and no, here, we'll do it this way. I got to get in here and purge some stuff. Like I said, check out my Poshmark. I'm going to link it below if you're interested in some stuff. And if you want to see, again, like my collections individually, let me know. And until my next video, oh, and don't forget to subscribe, <laughs> like, comment, share. Um, yeah, and until my next video, I will see y'all then. Bye, guys.